Hey, it's your boy Ron Big Black Garrett. Um, just wanted to come to you to give you sort of an update on things. I had to have a pretty quick surgery. That hernia that I've had for like 14 years finally got to the point to where uh, it was no longer viable for me to sit around and, and not do anything about it. So really, I've been dealing with it for the last four months. But um, I had a scan about, oh, about three weeks ago. And um, it had gotten to the point to where it um it just started moving and the colon jumped out of place and it was jumping up into the hernia and threatening to be cut off so i had to go ahead and get the surgery done i had the surgery friday um i'm in a lot of pain right now uh but um things are going to progress well i'm going to be off for the next three weeks or so so i may not post as much as i've been posting uh the good thing is uh, with all these tests from my doctor and everything and um, um, all my test markers are great, you know, blood work, great. I, I keep telling you guys about this keto, man. I keep telling you that it's the way to go. Um, my doctors still can't believe my blood work. They keep expecting me to come in there with my blood work changing. My HbA1c did go up slightly, but I, I do know why. Uh, it's because I had been trying a lot of those uh, sweets. Um, those, um, even with the sweets that, um, that are sugar free, you got to realize that even though it's sugar free, um, that it does create a good spike of insulin, especially in someone as metabolic damage as I do. And also I had increased my protein intake uh, by a lot. I mean, I was eating almost bodybuilder, bodybuilder levels of protein, um, just because I could. And so when I say it spiked, it spiked just a little. That shows me that I can't go and eat 300 uh, grams of protein a day, you know, and, and stuff like that. Uh, uh, and, and that's what I was doing. And I was doing it for a purpose. I was doing it. I was going to actually talk about it later. I was actually doing an experiment. I was actually trying to gain weight on keto. I'm still at 270 pounds. So I was still trying to see if I could gain weight. And I tell you what, I put on a pound or two, and it took me almost three months to put on a pound or two. Um, and had I, and and even in one of the days that I dropped down to like two thousand calories, I, I mean, I really stayed static. It's like my body is saying, "Okay, we're happy right here for now." So that's what's been going on with your boy. Um, don't try those things. You know, if you try those things, make sure you understand you may gain or you may lose or you may stay static. So don't get your head wrapped around those things. It's important to experiment. I do a lot of experimenting, but I do that so that I can give you the information and so that um, I, I just like to experiment. I'm a nerd. So um, so that's what's been going on with your boy. If you feel like throwing a prayer for him, throw a prayer for him. That's why my hair is not cutting. That's why I'm looking a little rough on this video, but I can't do anything right now. Matter of fact, if you can look in the back of me, there's pillows sitting me straight up because I can't lean back because my stomach is hurting so bad. So, um, but it looks like it's fixed. Um, and I guess there was about 10 pounds of stuff in there. So I was literally full of crap. So uh, now I guess I'm not full of crap no more. At least my wife, I'll be able to tell my wife that I'm not full of crap anymore. But uh, I want to thank you all for your prayers. Those of you that knew what I was going through. And hey, to my youth people out there, uh, that's why I haven't made as much of your stuff this year. Um, and it looks like I'm not going to be able to make any more football games, um, and swim meets and stuff like that, at least for a while. So I just want to make sure I know that I know a couple of my youth actually watch these videos cause they tell me at church or when they run, when they think I'm a YouTube star and I'm like, man, I got like 27 subscribers. So, <laughs> so anyway, I love you guys. I thank you. And, um, I just praise God for you every day. Uh, keep calm, keto on. Keep on keeping the faith. Keep on eating that delicious food and dropping that weight and getting healthier, which is more important than dropping the weight. Like I said, I'm 270 pounds and my markers look better than they did when I was at 7% body fat and bodybuilding. So God bless you. I love you. Peace.